Hi guys, welcome to Brilliant Qatar. Have you seen these type of questions in your chemistry board exam paper? The question is, identify the compounds A, B, C, D, E. Maybe it's extended to 5, 6 compounds, right? It's carry 3 mark, 4 mark, 5 mark. In all region, all region we can expect these type of questions. We should know the complete reaction of the chapter. Let us discuss the, some of the questions which is they asked or what you can expect for the upcoming 2025 chemistry board exam paper. So the question number one for you and the chapter is halo alkanes and halo arenes. All right. Question is the compound A. So whenever you, you mostly these type of questions you will get in a paragraph pattern. You please make it into a normal format to answer very fast. So compound A, compound A with the formula C7H8, all right, it react with the Cl2, it react with the Cl2 in presence of light, all right, in presence of light. So it is our substitution reaction, ready? You are getting a compound B. B on reaction with aqueous KOH, all right, B on reaction with the aqueous KOH, you are getting compound is benzyl alcohol, dear, what is benzyl? Yes. This is our benzyl alcohol, right? Benzyl alcohol. Which on reaction with the KCN, the benzyl alcohol on reaction with the KCN forms compound C. Okay, compound C identify the compound A, B and C. Did you get the idea, dear? Very simple question, very simple question. See, C7H8, it's a hydrocarbon on halogenation or substitution, you're getting B. Aqueous KOH, you know, nucleophilic substitution, that's benzyl alcohol, right? I think this step is very easy. You know, alcohol when react with the KCN, we get cyanide. So what is the compound C? C is what? Benzyl cyanide, right? This KOH out, you will get benzyl cyanide. So C is ready. C is ready. What about this one? Benzyl alcohol, if you want to get from this one, and what it should be, dear? It should be benzene with the CH2 Cl. It should be benzyl chloride. Then only on aqueous KOH, what happened? KCl out OH nucleophile gets substituted. And if you want to get this benzyl chloride, how I selected chlorine, not bromine. See, this is Cl2 we are adding, right? Therefore, chlorine. If you want to get benzyl chloride, what should be this compound? Very simple. That's nothing but our toluene. Yes, you know, hydrocarbon substitution happen only on the alkane part, right? So, the, on the alkyl chain, halogen substituted. Halogen is replaced by OH, by aqueous KOH. And OH is replaced by cyanide by what? KCN. Clear? So, A is toluene, B is benzyl chloride and C is benzyl cyanide. Let's go to question number 2. A compound A, again, a compound A, with the formula C3H7Cl, when react with the alcoholic KOH, did you get the reaction? Did you get the reaction? What is alcoholic KOH? Mean beta elimination, right? Uh, getting a compound B, all right? Alcoholic KOH giving a compound B. And on Wood's reaction, the A when undergo Wood's reaction, what is Wood's reaction? Sodium in dry ether, right? Sodium in dry ether. Giving you the compound 2,3-dimethylbutane. What is the compound? 2,3-dimethyl. 2,3-dimethylbutane is formed here. Yes. All right. Uh, B on reaction. B on reaction with HBr. HBr in presence of benzoyl peroxide. Anyway, <coughs> peroxide is there. Giving you a compound C. The compound C on reaction with the compound C on reaction with the NaI in dry acetone, which reaction, Finkelstein reaction, you're getting the compound D. When D react with the magnesium, not over, again, again, continuing. Magnesium and dry ether. When D reacting with the magnesium and dry ether forms compound E, forms compound E, identify A, B, C, D and E, maybe carry 5 marks, okay, very careful, very simple, so uh, C3H7Cl, very simple, that's only 3 carbon, right, 3 carbon only there, so it's propyl chloride, 1 chloropropane or 2 chloropropane can be the answer, when it is reacting with the sodium and dry ether, you are getting this one, 
See there, you know, what's the reaction? How to get the product here? How to get the product by joining to same halo alkene? So, what's the reaction? If they're given the product and they're asking you the reactant, very simple dear, add one Cl left, add one Cl right. That is the halo alkene. So, if they're given the product in Wood's reaction and asking the reactant, cut the center bond, add Cl, Cl left and right. So, what is the compound here? You have CH3, CHCl, CH3. So, the compound is 2 chloropropane. What is A? 2 chloropropane. When it undergo Wood's reaction, we get 2, 3 dimethyl butane. Ready? Let's continue. What is beta elimination? Halogen go from alpha, hydrogen go from beta, get a double bond between alpha, beta. So the B compound is which one? B compound is which one? Propene is the B compound. Ready? Propene when react with HBr in presence of peroxide, it follow Andy Marconico's rule. Negative part goes to carbon with more hydrogen. Positive part goes to carbon with less hydrogen. You will get one bromopropane. Ready? 1-bromopropane when react with the NaI, what happened? NaBr out, iodine get, get uh, substituted. So, you will get CH3, CH2I. What happen if you treat a halo alkane with a magnesium and dry ether? You will get Grignard reagent that is CH3, CH2, CH2, MgI. So, clear here? So, these are the reactions from the next second question. Question number 3, a compound A with the formula C6H7N. Hope you're clear. What is the compound C6H7N? That is very clear that it is aniline. Right. So, this compound react with the HNO2. What is HNO2 dear? Nitrous acid under ice cold condition, you know, 0 to 5 degrees Celsius is the one we are using under what? The diazotization reaction. Correct. Followed by the reaction with the. So, this compound, uh, this compound, uh, this is the first uh, they are treating with the HNO2 followed by treating with the ethanol. Ethanol forms compound B. All right. B on reaction with the chlorine in presence of anhydrous AlCl3 forms compound C. Compound C on reaction with the Na in dry ether. Na in dry ether getting compound D. Identify the compound A, B, C and D. Very simple. C6, please note this formula here. C6H7N, that is our aniline compound, all right, aniline. Or it is very clear, HNO2 means what? Nitrous acid, nitrous acid with a diazotization we are doing only, only on the, which aromatic one, aniline, right? So on diazotization, actually what you get? Diazonium salt, yes or no, diazonium salt you get. Then they are treating with the ethanol, do you remember this reaction? Diazonium salt when react with H3PO2 and water or this C2H5OH, what is C2H5OH? Ethanol, it will give you benzene. So this is the compound B dear. And B, what is benzene on chlorination you get? Chlorobenzene, ready. What is happen? A haloarene undergo reaction with the sodium and dry ether. That's called Fittig reaction. Fittig reaction, our product will be biphenyl or diphenyl. Ready? So the compound A is aniline, compound B is benzene, compound C is chlorobenzene, and compound D is which one? Diphenyl. Next question for you. Identify A, B, C, D, E in the following year. Very carefully watch it. Very carefully. See, this uh, one compound which is given in the center, okay, it's a haloalkane, right? Okay, let me do the uh, right part first, okay. So, this is a haloalkane treating with the alcoholic KOH. What is alcoholic KOH? Beta elimination. So, halogen go from alpha, hydrogen go from beta, put a double bond between alpha, beta. So, A will be CH3, CCH3, double bond CH2, right? This is the alkene. Now they are treating with the HBr. HBr means which reaction? Marconikov's addition. So, you no know, negative part goes here, positive part goes here. I am writing the B compound here. That is CH3, C, B, R and CH3, single bond CH3. Right? The alkene when undergo reaction with HBr, it follow Marconikov's rule and negative part goes to carbon with less hydrogen, positive part goes to carbon with more hydrogen, you will get this. And what is sodium and dry ether? Hello alkane when react with the sodium and dry ether, what is that? Wood's reaction, what happened here? 
the alkyl group get double. So I am taking, I am for just for understanding, I am writing here. So this is one of the compound, right? Let me take one more same compound, third butyl bromide is this compound and treating with the word sodium, sodium take both of the Br and this alkyl group join with this alkyl group. What is the product here? Please note the product all of you. This is the product call. This is the product call. 2233 tetramethyl butane will be the product. All right. So this is the compound A. This is the compound B. And this is the compound C. Ready? Let's go for the other side of this one. What is the left side? When haloalkane react with the magnesium, what happened? It formed Grignard reagent. Put the Ng in between the C and Br. You will get D compound. CH3, CH, CH3 and CH2, MgBr. Ready? Yes. And finally, what they are treating, you know, M Grignard reagent, Mg positive and the alkyl group negative. Please note in mind. And they are treating with H2O. What happens if you treat an H2O contain H plus and OH minus here? So this H plus go to this part. H plus go to this part and OH go to Mg. What is the product? CH3. CH, CH3, CH3, right? The CH2 minus to which H plus add, you will get alkane. Ready? And what about the down one? What is this compound F? See, this haloalkane, this is sodium ethoxide. It undergo Williamson ether synthesis. So what happened? This Na, this Na and B are out. And you get the final product as CH3, CH, CH3. Then we have CH2. Then this OC2H5, you will get ether. This is the compound F. So carefully understand the reaction and you will get full marks. Okay, each compound carry one mark. So very carefully answer it. Here we have one more question, NCRT question here. Here many compound we have to find it. A, B, C, D, E, R and R dash. Many other. See the first reaction here. In first reaction, there is a cyclohexyl bromide, right? Cyclohexyl bromide reacting with the Mg. Again, haloalkane reacting with the Mg in dry ether, you will get Grignard reagent. So you will get cyclohexyl MgBr, Mg plus and alkyl minus. Second step, so this is the compound A, okay? And second thing, they are adding water, as we discussed, water contain H plus and OH. H plus. H plus go to this side, OH go to this side, you will get what? Cyclohexane. This is the compound B. So A is ready, B is ready. Let's go for the second layer. I'm starting from the product side, okay? First of all, what is mean by D2O? You know that it's called a heavy water. DH2O contain H plus and OH minus. D2O contain D plus and OD minus as an ions. So this is deuterium, okay, protium, deuterium, tritium, you know, right? So this is the one of, one of the isotope of hydrogen, deuterium. If you want to get this, what should be this C? Actually, this is Grignard reagent. See, haloalkane reacting with the Mg, dry ether, you should get what? Grignard, Grignard reacted with the, uh, this uh, D, D plus and OD minus, you are getting this. So what can be this C? Very simple, CH3, CH, CH3. MgBr. This is the Grignard reagent. You know why? The Ng, what is the charge of Mg we said? Plus and the alkyl group minus. See to the minus, the D plus attacked, Mg plus go with the OD. That you leave it. That's byproduct. If you want to get this Grignard reagent, then what should be the R group here? The R group should be CH3, CH, CH3, Br. It should be 2-bromopropane. Then only when you add Mg, it will come to the middle of CH and Br. You will get MgBr. So your uh, combo, the R is, that is 2-bromopropane. Propyl is the uh, group, isopropyl is the group here. And C is this one. And uh, yeah, right, that's it. And now, now we have to find the last region. All of you carefully listen here. Carefully listen. This is the alkane formed on Wood's reaction. This is Wood's, right? I told you how to make the reactant, how to make the reactant in Wood's reaction. Very simple. Cut the center bond, cut the middle bond, add Cl on left, add Cl on right or any halogen. So you will get, so what if you want to get this, what should be the R dash here? That should be CH3, CCH3, 
CH3Cl. This should be the haloalkane, like that two compound will join, you will get this product. So this R dash is this one, tert-butyl is the R dash group, alkyl group. What happens if it react with the Mg? It forms Grignard reagent. What is the Grignard reagent here? It will be CH3, CCH3, CH3, MgCl. And what is the last reaction? Again, hydrolysis. Hydrolysis means what? Add OH on this side, H on this side. That's it. So what is the product here? Final product will be CH3CH, CH3CH3. 2-methyl propane is the compound E. Hope you clear all the reaction in the NCRT important question. So dear, the haloalkane in any one of the organic chapter you can expect this type of question identifying A, B, C or A, B, C, D or maybe they extend it to A, B, C, D, E, F and all it goes on and you will get more marks. So you can expect this type of question in 3 mark region, 4 mark region or in 5 mark region. So practice well.